What's going on guys? Welcome to Rhino Review Stuff. I'm Rhino and I review stuff. And the stuff I've got today was sent to me by the company Digit. Now it is their digital film scanner. So basically if you've got negatives in all sorts of various sizes and uh, even super eight and eight millimeter, you can slide it into this little machine and it will scan it. It saves to SD cards up to 128 gigabytes, um, formatted as FAT32, of course, or it can save it to the device itself. Unfortunately, it does not have very much memory built in. Uh, you can also transfer over USB and you can also use a capture card for those super eight and eight millimeter films and send it directly to your computer, digitize all your goodies. This thing is pretty cool and I've been playing around with it for a couple of days. Let's check it out. So here is the actual device. It does have a nice large screen on the front. It is not a touch screen, so you don't got to worry about that. On the top here, we've got all of the buttons. We've got our home button, preview button. We've got our power button. We've got our OK to accept whatever setting button. And it also takes the picture or does the playback. We've got our back button slash trash button. We've got our play and record button there. We've got forward or not forward. We've got backwards and brightness and we've got forwards and RGB. So you can adjust some of the settings in the device itself to get a little bit better picture. However, if you're scanning from an old negative, there's a pretty good chance it was not a very good picture to begin with. But if you're scanning in some modern photographs, uh, yeah, the chances are you're actually going to get some pretty good stuff out of it. I've done a lot of playing around with this and I've collected some of my favorite pictures and I'll show those in a few moments. On the back side of the unit, we've got our HDMI output, we've got our SD card slot, notice it is a full SD card slot, and we've got our USB output or power. USB-C, it also can connect with one of these little doodads here, mm -hmm. or it can connect to the computer directly, and I've just got mine connected directly to the computer. However, when I do that, it cuts out my main camera here, so we're going to do some overhead shots, I think. Of course, other items that come with it would be this HDMI cable. It's got the mini HDMI on one side, and it's got regular HDMI on the other. It does come with the USB-C cable. It does come with this little power brick or power supply or adapter, whatever you want to call it. We've got the 110 negative adapter. We've got a little cleaning brush here. It's got a little bit of a felt thing right there. This is also very handy if you need to kind of slide a slide through. We've got the Super 8 slash 8 millimeter uh, insert here film thingy and uh, I have not gotten to try this yet because I cannot find my eight millimeter films they're in here somewhere we've also got the 110 slide so you can use slides with this as well and this is the one that most of us will mainly be using the 135 negative adapter to use these things it's got this little case you slide your film in through the side it sticks in right there underneath those two little tabs then you stick this inside of this you close the door snap snap and then you slide this whole unit inside of the device like so and it does have a little catch mechanism there so it kind of stops it in place um you do slide your slides through there and you just kind of gently pull it out the other side. As I mentioned, this tool right here can actually help you in that process. So I'm going to switch up my camera setup real quick. We are going to take a look at the actual scanning process, and we will take a look at some of the results. I'm pretty impressed, and I've been having a lot of fun with this. Let's see if I can focus there on the screen. There we go. So we can choose the film type. We can go across to USB upload, where it just sends it directly to the computer. We can check out the gallery of everything on there and we can set the date and the time. We're just going to go to film type here. Uh, we are going to scan some negatives and it is 135 film. So what you do is you got this little tool right here. Open it up. Going to slide this piece out. We're going to stick our slide, our film, right there in the bottom and we stick this right back in that pops into place we pop the top in 
It is a little bit fiddly to push it all the way through. Now it's ready. Okay, locked into place. There's that picture that we saw a moment ago. I'm going to go ahead and snap that one. Got some strangers. And one without the strangers. You're also able to adjust the brightness here. I can go up, go down. I'm going to click OK there. Click the Home button. You can change the red, green, and blue. I'm going to change the red. Give it a little more oomph. Now you push the play. You can adjust the green. I'm going to give it a little bit more green. Click OK. Click Home. Now I'm going to go to the blue. A little bit of punch to the blue there. And let's take another picture. We'll be able to compare these in a moment. As you saw, that was pretty easy to do. Let's take a look at some of my results. I'll pull it up on the screen for you there. <laughs> right here, there's a picture of my mom and dad. This is probably the mid-90s. Uh, this clown mask on the wall, I actually made that when I was in seventh grade. So this is probably around that time, probably 93, 94-ish. Yeah, it looks pretty good. You can see, of course, when you're taking photographs with a crummy camera, you're kind of going to get some crummy results. A little bit later on, this is in the later 90s. This is when I was about 16, and that right there is my dad. Um, people used to confuse us all the time. They would think that this was my older brother, Jay. In fact, that's my dad. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, good times. What else we got here? Just for reference, there's young Rhino, and that's my grandma right there. Um, yes, I'm the one on the left. My grandma is the one on the right. I believe this was Christmas time. Um, that would be the only reason I would be wearing a long sleeve shirt in the 90s, especially a flannel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I do miss having hair that I could pull back into a ponytail. And of course... What sort of photo montage would be complete without a bunch of pictures of my dad's favorite car? So yes, this was his Thunderbird there. From the back, from the side, from the front, <laughs> and back to him. Ah, oh, man, this thing is a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. So final verdict on this DigitNow digital film scanner thing. It's pretty awesome. It works really, really well. And like I said, the quality is only going to be as good as your negatives are. You can do some adjustments in here. It does take a nice sized photograph out of it and uh, does have a 14 megapixel sensor in there. So it does get a really nice image. If you pull this into Photoshop, you're going to be able to touch it up a little bit and make them look even better. And I have not done that with any of the pictures. I just wanted to give kind of the raw results and that's what they look like. I'm really impressed. So if you want to pick one of these guys up, I will leave a link down there in the description. Uh, like, subscribe, and all that jazz, and I will see you all later. Bye.